Hey Browns fans, Nathan Zagura here with a special running back preview edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals. You could certainly make the case that the Browns have the best running back in the NFL in three-time Pro Bowler Nick Chubb. You absolutely could say the Browns have the best one-two punch in the league with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. And without a shadow of a doubt, the Browns have the best one-two three punch in the league at running back with Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, and D. Ernest Johnson. This is probably the best position group in the entire NFL. Not just running backs, any position, any position group in the league, and it will be a strength for the Browns once again here in 2022, and it all starts with Nick Chubb. Chubb is coming off of a 14-game season in which he ran for 1,259 yards, 5.5 yards per carry, and 8 touchdowns. He was second in the NFL in rushing yards, third in yards per carry, second in yards after contact, and second with 41 runs of 10 or more yards. As I mentioned, he was named to the Pro Bowl for the third straight time. The first Browns running back to do that since Leroy Kelly back in the late 60s and early 70s. And Jim Brown is the only other Browns running back to be named to the Pro Bowl in three consecutive seasons. Chubb. Three straight thousand yard seasons, never below five yards per carry or eight rushing touchdowns in any season. And then there's Kareem Hunt, a man who's led the NFL in rushing in his own right and has been an absolute dynamic playmaker for the Browns in his time here. Now last year, Hunt missed nine games due to injury, but if you look at the first six games of the season before that injury against Arizona, 361 yards rushing, five touchdowns, 161 yards receiving, that's 522 total yards and five touchdowns in six games. And let's not forget back in 2020, Chubb and Hunt became only the fourth running back tandem in NFL history to have more than 1,200 total yards and 12 touchdowns each in the same season, including the playoffs. So they're as good as it gets. And then there's D. Ernest Johnson, who was thrust in the spotlight last year, and boy did he respond. Johnson back with the Browns after signing a one-year contract. He was a restricted free agent, and the Browns have to be happy with that depth, because when Johnson was called upon, he was sensational. In two starts last year against Denver and New England, Johnson, 325 total yards and one touchdown. He ran for 245 yards in those games, averaging six yards per carry, and in fact was the FedEx ground player of the week for his huge performance in the big Thursday night football win over the Denver Broncos. Johnson is coming off of a career year. He ran 100 times for 534 yards. That's 5.3 a carry, three touchdowns, and added 19 catches for 137 yards. He was Pro Football Focus's highest running grade of the season last year at 90.6, and the 26-year-old has the complete and total trust of this staff, not only as a running back, but as a key member of the Browns Special Teams Unit for Special Teams Coordinator Mike Prefer. Now there's some new blood in the mix at running back this year. The Browns selected Cincinnati running back Jerome Ford in the fifth round of the 2022 NFL Draft, and Ford has had an excellent spring, showing the speed and explosiveness the Browns saw on tape, where he rushed for 19 touchdowns and over six yards of carry at Cincinnati a year ago. Now he also was a very natural pass catcher out of the backfield. His high school was so talented and so loaded with running backs who were getting D1 offers that even though he was a recruit for Nick Saban at Alabama, he had to play some receiver and did so at a high level. So you can see his natural ability receiving out of the backfield. I think he has been a very, very nice bright spot early. Let's see how that progresses in training camp when the pads come on. A couple other guys to keep your eye on at the running back position, John Kelly, who has spent the last two years with the Browns, mostly on the practice squad. He finished last year on injured reserve. He is back, as well as Demetric Felton. Now, Demetric Felton started this offseason program as a running back. That's what he played at UCLA when the Browns drafted him back in 2021, but really has spent more time in the NFL last season and in camp so far at the wide receiver position. But we got to mention his name here. Same with Johnny Stanton. The only returning fullback from last season, Stant working as a fullback, but also a lot as a tight end as well this offseason. And that kind of rounds out the room there for Stump Mitchell, a very talented room, a very deep room. And I'll say it again, this is the best position group of any position group in the NFL, and it will be part of the backbone for the Cleveland Browns offense as we get ready for 2022. For the rest of these position previews, be sure to check out our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Browns. And of course, keep up to date on the Browns at clevelandbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app. This has been the running back position preview edition of the two-minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals.